My content is for 13 and up or adult collections of the product. Hello everyone, and for this video, we'll be taking a look at Tact Lunar. So before we continue with this video, subscribe to the channel with bell notifications on. And uh, yeah, this is a very interesting release. Hasbro, please give us string launchers. We don't need the same ripcord or just don't put them at all. To also explain, this comes from the Tact uh, Longinus Random Booster, which was volume... Oof, 17, wow, feels so long. Um, it was the prize bait. The only difference between this one and this one is that this one came with the purple expand. Uh, they picked cross. So there's the solar weight, and obviously for the ability, it can change its uh, shape depending on what layer weight there is. I'll get into that more specific. Cross, trans dash. Um, funny enough, this never really got reprinted. There has only been one release of trans dash at the time of this recording, so... It's another way to get it uh, if you want. The driver itself was not really good um, in terms of the GT stuff, but I guess, um, you know, maybe for collectors or whatever, or um, for niche competitive on uh, different formats. So taking this apart. Yep. We got our lovely uh, trans dash. That is actually dash, that's nice. Our tact layer. Let's see how it looks side by side. It's always slightly different. It's a little bit more saturated. We're going to see if it has teeth wear or not. Probably does. So they show the mode change for Trans Dash, the stickers. So they don't really. Wait. <laughs> Whoa! Did they just get exposed by themselves? Twelve expand! It comes with cross! No way! Did they expose themselves? Did they? Because it's supposed to come with expand originally. So I was right. What I said was, I think originally Harmony Pegasus probably would have had uh, cross instead of expand and the expand would have gotten on the tact, but they swapped it. Stickers. So. Probably a little bit now. Eee! That's pretty good. Did they finally learn? Wait, you gotta double check to be sure when I'm clicking on this. Okay, this is like Omega testing right now. Hey, that's pretty nice. So, on this one, which we've tried, okay, I see almost nothing at all. Not even almost nothing at all, like nothing at all. So now we're at the longest GT chip, and honestly, uh, you know, sometimes Pro has been pretty much, I think, a, a little different visually, and if you do TT to Pro, I. I, I don't know if it, I think it's just kind of how the purple is. I kind of like the purple a little bit more on here, but I think this one is probably just a little bit faded. But I think that's just pro has been a, a, a little bit more saturated. So that's just more like a personal thing that I just think uh, for it. Now, how good is the Longinus GT chip? You're looking at basically one of the best stuff to use uh, for left. Now, even though I did do a stress test on the thing, I do want to mention it is still entirely possible that uh, you could get a bad chip on the thing and it wears pretty bad, but seemingly for this one, it does seem like it is safe. So for combinations, tact it's fine to use on, lore, literally just any left, just any left. It has nice locks for the thing. I like it uh, with dash and uh, yeah, I think it's solid. Now, for the layer weights, which unfortunately, uh, it's not their fault. They had to do the layer weight regardless. It is so. So, so is not a good layer weight. Um, the weight distribution and stamina is not really all of there. It's a pretty low tier layer weight. So, 
they only did it because they had to do the remaining layer weights. So this is not like a Hasbro fault. I want to make sure that's clear. Um, there's no real use for the sew weights. Um, it's cool when Takara told me tried to experiment with the different layer weights, but clearly some are just a lot better than uh, others. Then after we get to the tacked layer base, now I do believe they call it a balance type, but uh, it's really just used for defense in GT. Side by side. Okay, this one's a little bit more transparent. Um, so for tax gimmick, I'm going to basically put up the graphic uh, now for the thing. So depending on what layer weights you have or the Abolos chip, the Abolos one, or in this case, I should say Devolos, the blades will extend uh, in a specific way. And it was a very unique gimmick for tact. So they, the best, two, there's only really two weights that are the best. I'll say the third one, but I don't really count it. It's below the other two which um, it would be Goku and Zen are very good with tact. I'll say Sen for right now because they haven't released anything else, but uh, Sen is below Zen for tact for me, and obviously below Goku. I would say Goku is maybe at the top, then maybe Zen, but honestly, it just depends. So when you put the Zen weight, um, what basically happens is it only pushes these two, and uh, it works nicely uh, for tact. So if you have Xan, I would suggest you slap Xan on it. So aside from that, the big weakness on tact is this part. I don't know why they put this giant little triangular thing there. Uh, if, if you get this a little bit worn, honestly, it's a lot better that way. Um, for our, it's not really raised, honestly. It's, uh, it's honestly really solid burst resistance. Now, my issue with Pro Series is that there, there's, no, there's not really that much competitive parts that they actually do that is worth it. I guess I can maybe recommend double O expand Okta because um, that's possible. There's no keep dash, which is what it would have been ideal for this or even unite dash. Um, so you don't have too many options. So I, I, can, I guess I can recommend the Okta for uh, viewers that are wondering. Uh, then after we have 12 cross. Um, no cross is a good frame. I wish it was a recolor one. Uh, very high stamina and lad. Of course, with Hasbro's wheel, it does outclass 10 cross, double O cross, zero cross. But, um, you know, just to mention, 12 is a terrible disc. So if you want to have better stamina, replace it with 10 or zero or double O. I think for me, actually, on my tact, I originally just gave it uh, the 10. I replaced it. And uh, yeah, aside from that. Now Trans Dash. Now Trans Dash is really unique um, because it's not really good for the GT stuff, even uh, I guess for Pro only. It's not really many options, I guess, but there's two modes. There is stamina mode and attack mode. So maybe for like legacy formats, uh, like um, the classic, which would be like dual layers and single layers and that kind of stuff that the WBO has, uh, it could be a little bit useful there. In general, there's no real use for this, but if you're a collector, then there's some use for this. So we have our Takeratomi chip, which is three grams, 2.97 grams on the dot. Oh, I can't even say that. 2.73. So it's still 0.2 grams of difference, but this time there's no wear on this one. So it's a little surprising. Has, we're just gonna stop using a cheap plastic, I would say. Okay, now moving on to the next one, which TT tact is 14.97. God damn! That's by a hefty amount, 14.97 versus 14.17. What the hell did they do to this thing? I guess, no wonder, I thought it looked a little bit off. Wow, that's really light. So is about eight grams. I'm a little, hold on a sec, so it's about, TT tact is 25.9 versus 24.9. Wow, cheaper materials on the thing. Hmm. That's not too good, because probably that means that since the plastic is a lot cheaper, that means your tact is probably gonna be a, a lot more susceptible to damage, whatever. So 50 grams versus 51.23, so about 1.23 grams of difference. And just to explain before I show it, um, that if for a competitive player, a weight difference like that, I, I would say generally does matter to like a good extent. 
right? The bigger the weight difference, the worse it is. For like casual, like maybe that won't even really matter to them. But you know, if we're talking competitive and because pro has been pushed for competitive, regardless of what people say, I, I, I do think it does matter a bit. Now, as far as appearance goes, like I said, I actually do like uh, the a little bit more saturated more compared to the original, but I do think mine might, might, might just be faded. Uh, it would have been nice for Expand and they swapped it with Harmony for the thing. Maybe that would have been a little cooler. But um, I think this is still like a solid release. I'm going to be honest, like aside from not getting the purple Expand, there's, and I guess also the weight, there's really not that much really going against this thing. So thumbs up again to uh, Hasbro, as I've said, we give credit where credit's due here, and uh, I would say this is a pretty solid release, all things considered. So what we're going to be, oh, also I guess the side profile. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to do the test launch for both in some battles. I also just realized because it's, um, what is it, it's so, that means it's pushing on here and here. Alrighty, so we're gonna be doing a test launch. We're gonna just do it with a proper launcher. Three, two, one, let it rip. So that is the stamina mode for the thing. Now we just switch it to attack mode. Very cool. So we have two opponents. Uh, actually, no, we have four opponents for left and for right. Um, we'll try against wizard and we'll try it with s attack mode and then after for longness we'll try you know the other way we're gonna see how this does okay calm easy ko easy 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 so now we're gonna put this in uh, extend plus attack mode even though it's not really that good and uh, we're gonna put this now in stamina mode. Okay, we're gonna try again. Keep in mind that for pro I literally have like no options for this thing so plus I have to do stock for the video. Let's try now. I'm gonna probably still get OS because of the driver. Yeah, the driver, man. I can't. Really, well, I mean, it, that's what it came with, right? Well, let's try to hard launch it. Yeah, not a. Let's try our last battle against uh, Prime. I mean, that was basically a KO, but uh, I'll probably get OS. Yeah, the stock is not really much to work with, so I could say Okta or I guess Keep. So unfortunately, uh, I can't really do this as much justice as possible because Pro Series uh, has not released any good parts uh, that are like really really good that I could use to really showcase the thing. However, if you're someone who already has the Karatomi Bays, what I can recommend for some combinations as we are ending off and after I'll show the QR code would be like Double O Expand Unite Dash, I guess maybe like maybe Double O, I don't know, with frame or without frame, keep Dash. Uh, and then after it'd be like Cross or something on the Double O. Then after, what else could I recommend? I guess on double O expand, drift, and also I would probably recommend the Goku layer weight. Or you could use Xan if you want. Uh, the QR code, if you want to scan it. Yeah, um, good release, good release. Parts obviously no, but I think in the, the case of this, you can kind of make an exception for it, to be honest. Anyways, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Good release by Hasbro. Thank you for watching. Uh, we will have other reviews uh, coming up with uh, Knockout Odux and eventually Venom Devilos. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and make sure to check out our store. We have pre-orders for the Wind Knight Random Booster. And if you do a pre-order, you can get a free Divine Belial, limited time offer, or there's Zesta Achilles or the Hello Kitty pre-order. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day and bye.